question about each other. Reveal a secret about me. Something you've noticed that annoys you. Your biggest pet peeve. One thing we hate about each other. Alright, let me stop recording. My favorite thing about you. <laughs> what are you gonna say? So we're gonna answer some common questions that have been asked. Marco, will you tell me your age? 26. Old. And I'm 24. Out of your prime. <coughs> So are you. Hey, I'm gonna become a silver fox. You see my dad. You're gonna become a stumpy old fart that I will cherish. What school did you go to? I went to St. John's University, studied international business undergrad. I got my master's in communications and now I'm a professor of digital media design. Woo, nerd. Stay after class. I went to Sacred Heart University, got my bachelor's in exercise science. Now I'm about to graduate with my doctor of physical therapy. Mark, what's your favorite food? Ever? Yep. It has to be pizza or pasta. It matters very much where from. New Park Pizza in Howard Beach is just the best. My favorite food is pasta. You're boring as f. Raviolis, Aniala vodka, spaghetti, mac and cheese. Okay, but you have to pick one. I can't. Pasta. I like linguine fried Diablo, but I have to pick one. One thing we hate about each other. Go first, so I know what to say. No, you go first. No, you go first. You go first. <laughs> I don't hate anything about Marco. He's the most perfect human that I have ever met. Alright, let me stop recording. I stop recording now. What is it really? No, you didn't stop recording. Say it. Hate's a strong word. I hate that you always have to be right. It's fair. I'm always right. You're right, like, maybe 35% of the time. That is such cap. I'm oh. right all the time. Classic narcissism. I hate that you gaslight me. Gaslight you? I've never gaslighted you ever, not once. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Something you've noticed that annoys you. Your biggest pet peeve. My biggest pet peeve of you is that you are two feet tall and you somehow <laughs> take up the entire bed. You somehow start on one end of the bed and then like slowly but surely you make your way to the center and I always wake up because I'm about to fall off the bed. You're a black hole in the center of a galaxy. So in a way, you're sort of my black hole. Did that come off wrong? I don't know. You're kicking me off the island every All night. Right, that just means we'll need to get a California kick bed. You'll manage to find a way. <laughs> very passionate about this. I have photo evidence. I've been documenting it for months. Biggest pet peeve is that you're so undomesticated that it's insane. You can't tame me. You're 26 years old and you still put all of your dirty towels on the floor when you have a nice hamper. Right there. You throw it on the floor next to the hamper. I have a pet peeve. Why did you say nice hamper? Did the hamper greet you this morning and ask about your day? Why are you using the adjective nice to describe a hamper? Because it's always there and The big hamper and is empty. cordial with you? You're big and empty. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. My mom does the same sh it's because it's not appealing and you have to throw in the word nice. Do you want a nice sandwich? Really nice sandwich? Is the sandwich gonna take me to get something better to eat? Trying to distract me, which is like insane. I will the never point. use the hamper because you're trying to dress it up as more than it is. You'd rather have all your dirty laundry just scatter across your floor? Did it again. Dirty laundry. It's dirty. Worst. You're the worst. I'm not a dirty person. I'm a messy person. I'm just saying that's my biggest pet peeve is that I'm already starting to have to clean up after you and we've been together for a few months. Your biggest pet peeve? Yeah. And we're doing pretty good. What's man. your favorite physical trait about me? Your hair. Your hair is the best hair I've ever seen. It's like the perfect Italian girl dark hair. I really like your glowing, beautiful bug eyes. I meant because they're like big. My favorite thing about you. <laughs> what are you going to say? I can't say that. My favorite thing about you is your smile. What were you going to say? Uh -uh. First impression about each other. Dumb bimbo, get with her twice, not talk to her. Marco. What? You said first impression. Obviously, we've surpassed that. Was that really your no, answer? No, no. My first impression was that you were spunky. I've been saying that since the beginning. You have a courageous, determined attitude about you that just drew me to you. I don't want to say you're like me if I was a girl. And that sounds really egotistical because I'm hooking up with myself. But <laughs> I guess you have a big personality. You have two big personalities, too, so... Come on! Another first impression I had about you was that you were really sweet and a diva a little bit. But obviously, it's a good first impression. My first impression of you, you're just a hot Italian Long Islander with a lot of followers. What? You're a clout chaser! You're everything- I'm kidding! Uh, my first impression of you was that you were making jokes from the jump. You were funny. That's not even a first impression. You just described something <laughs> I was doing. <laughs> we just had, like, good chemistry. We talked for two hours in a coffee shop. My first impression of you, I, I thought you were going to be a You're actually very down to earth. I thought you were going to be a cocky content creator. Thinks they're better than everyone else. Kind of do. <laughs> no, I don't. But you're actually very nice. You're sweet. 
sweet. I am pretty humble. There's many things about me to admire. My looks, genius level intellect, my creativity, this empire I built. But at the end of the day, I'm I'm very down to earth. Yup. <laughs> first date. You and me met behind the old path, Mark, and no. we- Oh my god, no. We met at a coffee shop. We just talked for over two hours about I... anything and everything. We even made up our four and a half children that we're gonna have one day. Four and a half. Yeah, I don't know why we said that. Tell them about the rain. We went to Sweetwater Cafe in Smithtown. That was where we first hung out outside of filming and my house. That was our first date. No one knew about it except me and her. We just got to know each other for like three hours. I remember it was so symbolic. We went outside to go home because I had to meet my family for dinner and it was like pouring rain and we were kissing in the rain I was like, this is like it a was movie. Like, it was like some fairy tale sh**. That was some notebook level <laughs> sh**. It was so memorable and then I took her behind No, nope, nope, nope. Reveal a secret about me. After our first date, you were showing me something oh. on your phone and you swiped up and I saw a conversation you were having with your sister or one of your friends or something. It was like, oh my god, I'm here. He's here with me. It's Codell. So hot and cool. <laughs> I was not fangirling. <laughs> you were a little bit. I didn't even know who you, you were. You didn't oh. even know who I was yet. A big secret about Marco is that he's a Sim. What the f did you just say? You're a sim. No, I'm not. In what way am I a sim? Should I tell them what you made me for my birthday? Keyword made. That doesn't make me a simp, and why are you throwing this in my face? No, it really was a sweet gift. Made a whole scrapbook of pictures of us, things that we've done. Wrote little notes next to all the pictures. It was so cute all and right, so thoughtful. All right. I hired someone to do no, that. No, you didn't. It was your handwriting. What's it like spending a day with me? Oh my god, it's agony. It's like having a little goblin constantly pulling on your pants to like get them a lollipop or some <laughs> She's always just hangry and then you feed her like a graham cracker and then she's fine for 12 hours. I'm not really buying that whole hangry bit. I think it's just part of your quirky character that you're trying to develop. What? That's it? That's the whole day with me? I'm Paris Hilton. You're my dirty rat dog in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Not all bad. Sometimes you and me will look at each other and laugh at something. I'll like feed you a treat. I'm Christina and I'm Marco's pet. I'll say the real thing. A day with Christina is like hanging out with a diva that could sometimes be funny. Yeah, you're really annoying and sometimes I'm like, oh my god, I hate this bitch. But <laughs> sometimes I'm like, damn, she actually said something really funny. Great. Maybe she's worth having around. Anyways, spending a day with Marco is like spending a day in hell. Yet you volunteer to do it all the time. I'd say I didn't like hell. How is it in hell? Oh yeah, that really sucks to have no. everything paid for no. and basically carried around. Day with Marco is actually a lot of fun. He can't sit still for sh**. So we're always doing things, which is so fun. Never boring. And there's always something to do. And he's honestly his own form of entertainment. What do you mean? You're just entertaining as a person. I should start charging you no. a monthly subscription. What are some similarities that we have? And then what are our differences? Similarities is our culture. We grew up enjoying the same things. Our families are alike. Yeah. We grew up in American Italian household. We get the benefits of knowing each other even deeper because we have so much relatability there. For our differences, I would say I'm really smart and you're a f moron. Our differences, <laughs> I'm hot and he's ugly. That looks worse on you. <laughs> Our differences, what we seek. I think you more so seek happiness and I more so seek legacy, power. I agree. We have a lot more similarities though. What other similarities do we have? Both here? hilarious. Both? Yes. I'm funny. You're funny. I'm hilarious. Do you get the difference? You're angry. I'm furious. Do you get it? I'm so funny though. <laughs> A lot of people, like, the camera starts rolling and then they, like, put on this flashy that, personality. But we are the same people on and off camera. Really? Like, this are. is actually how we talk to uh, each other. Last night, we were watching kids YouTube about science and we were just talking for hours. Quantum weird physics. Hypothetical things that would never happen in a million years that were <laughs> pissing each other off and that somehow we relate back to the science. It always feels like we're going on an adventure. We don't put on a persona. Like, this is us.